MNNIT 2020. The institution we are featuring today was established in 1961 and has been considered one of the best institutions in Uttar Pradesh. This year, it achieved the 48th rank on the NIRF table. Welcome to College Suggest. In this video, we're taking a look at the Motilal Nehru National Institute of Technologies, student stats, courses, its performance and graduation, placements, median salary, top recruiters, the infrastructure, and of course, the fee structure. We're also comparing the performance of MNNIT with NIT Roorkela, NIT Suratkal, and NIT Varangal to see if it's performing on par with its peers. Click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive notifications on your favorite college details, college comparisons, courses, careers, and so much more. As always, we will only consider the facts that are submitted by the college to the NIRF for the 2020 ranking. We leave the link in the description below. Teaching, learning, and resources. Here we'll take a look at MNNIT's approved intake, student strength, faculty information, and financial utilizations. MNNIT Allahabad intakes 954 UG, 566 PG, and 93 PG three-year students. The intake is higher than most institutions. However, NIT Roorkela intakes more students. MNNIT consists of 4,655 engineering students in total, which is better than most of its peers. MNNIT has 294 faculty members, and 80.27% of them hold a doctorate. The institution has one faculty member for every 16 students. However, many of its competitors have a better faculty-to-student ratio. Nine faculty members from MNNIT Allahabad have received highly reputed national and international awards from central government agencies last year. Also, six students have won an international award in the previous year. MNNIT has spent over 22 crores as annual capital expenditure, out of which 57.56% was spent on the creation of capital assets. Peer groups also invested just as much in the creation of capital assets as well as on the purchase of new lab equipment. Over 118 crores were spent as operational expenses and a huge portion of this went toward the maintenance of academic infrastructure. Competitors have also spent a substantial amount on the maintenance of academic infrastructure and the salaries of the staff. Having all of these numbers, MNNIT has scored 59.71% in teaching, learning and resources, which contributes to 30% of the overall NIRF score. Research and professional practice Under this parameter, we'll learn about MNNIT's PhD students, patent details and the funds received through various projects. The number of patents published has increased to four, while no patents were granted in the last year. This is more or less similar to its peers. There are 512 students pursuing their PhDs and 57 scholars graduated with a PhD last year. Other institutions have better PhD stats when compared to MNNIT. With a total of 67 sponsored projects, the institution has received over 5 crores as sponsored research funding. And with 314 consultancy projects, MNNIT has received over 6 crores. With this, MNNIT Allahabad has scored 30.56% in research and professional practices, which contributes to another 30% of its NIRF score. Graduation Outcomes Here, let's analyze MNNIT's graduation and placement percentages along with salary packages and top recruiters. UG MNNIT offers 9 UG courses. Out of 922 final year UG students, 832 graduated within the minimum stipulated time. This gives the institution a graduation percentage of 90.24%. From the graduated students, 107 have opted to go on for higher education. Other institutions have a better graduation percentage when compared to MNNIT. From the graduates, 725 students were eligible for placements and 671 students got placed in various companies, achieving a placement percentage of 92.55%. The placed students were offered a median salary package of Rs 8 lakhs per annum. MNNIT has a good salary package, however, other institutions are better when it comes to placement stats. Looking at its overall UG performance, MNNIT has shown a slight drop in graduation while there has been a rise in the placements. MNNIT Allahabad also offers 25 PG programs and one PG three-year program. For a detailed analysis of its PG performance, please visit the link in the description below. Recruiters 
Some of the top companies that hire students from this institution are Accenture, Adobe, Capgemini, Deloitte, eBay, Infosys, l and New Sigma, Motorola, Oracle, and Qualcomm. With all of these stats, m and ID has scored 69% in graduation outcomes, which contributes to 20% of the NIRF score. Outreach and Inclusivity Here we will look at just how diverse m and ID is. Out of 4,655 engineering students studying across all years, 2,255 are from Uttar Pradesh, 2,052 are from other parts of the country, and 348 are from abroad. Though this institution is very diverse, it has a higher number of students from within the state, which is the opposite of the other institutions in consideration. The overall engineering student count consists of 84.94% of boys and 15.06% of girls. Considering all of the above numbers, MNIT has scored 50.72% for outreach and inclusivity, which contributes to 10% of the NIRF scores. Perception In this parameter, let's see the perception of this institution from the public and its peers. MNIT is one of the oldest institutions in the country and has earned good respect among engineering aspirants. With this, MNNIT has scored 22.89% in public perception, which contributes to 10% of the overall NIRF score. Considering all of the above scores in various parameters, MNNIT has achieved an overall score of 48.24%. When we look at the rank, MNNIT has shown a drop from the previous year. Admission MNNIT Allahabad admits UG students through the Joint Entrance Examination Main. PG students are admitted on the basis of GATE scores. Location MNNIT is located in Teliyar Ganj, Allahabad. The nearest railway station to the institution is the Allahabad Junction, which is 7.5 kilometers away. While the nearest airport is the Prayagraj Airport and the nearest airport with international connectivity is the Lal Bahadur Shastri International Airport, which is 126 kilometers away. Campus Life MNNIT's campus spreads over 222 acres. Its peer group has a larger campus area when compared to MNNIT. Some of the facilities that are available on campus are a well-organized library, separate hostels for boys and girls, a health center, state-of-the-art laboratories and various other facilities. The institution also has sports facilities like hockey, cricket, football, table tennis, badminton and various indoor games. Kalrav is the annual cultural festival of MNNIT Allahabad. Regular seminars and workshops are also conducted. Fee Structure The approximate fees for a UG student per semester is Rs 98,500. This fee is lower than most of the other institutions considered. Please note that the fee structure mentioned is subject to variation. One pays approximately around Rs 7.88 lakhs as an overall fee. The median salary package offered to placed UG students is Rs 8 lakhs per annum, which means that you can earn back your fees within one year of graduation. Upon looking at all of the facts and the performance of MNNIT Allahabad, here are a few of the highlights from the institution. MNNIT maintains a decent graduation and placement percentage. The salary offered to place students is above average. It shows constant improvement in its placements. The faculty-to-student ratio is high when compared to its peers. There's been a notable drop in rankings from the previous year. There you have it. That's all you need to know about MNNIT Allahabad. What other interesting college reviews would you like to see? Let us know in the comments section below. If you like this video, do give us a thumbs up. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And for more information, visit collegesuggest.com.